Hello everybody, this is part two of the antique store video from the other day. We went to Ocala, Florida and we stopped at a antique store that I want to say was called Old Cracker House Antique Store. This was, this store was 10,000 square feet and it had lots of really cool things and I got, I was able to get so much footage in there that I was able to break it into two parts. Um, I hope you guys had a wonderful New Year's and New Year's Eve. Um, we took a couple of days off. Um, I mean, days off, but not really off because we've been doing a bunch of things around the house. But I'm back and um, I've got a lot of cool stuff to share with you guys. So let's take a peek inside this store. I'll make sure that I link part one to this video somewhere in this in the video, whether it's in a little pop-up or in the description. I'll be sure to link it. Um, but I did tell you in that in that video that this store it had so many cool things. I did find some deals, and I already shared that haul video. I know this is coming out after, but I was um, in a like a four-way sale. So I had to uh, get that stuff out to you guys and show you guys um, before I did any of this. So I was kind of in a hurry. So uh, some of the stuff in the haul video is still available. Some of it sold in the live sale. Some of it got listed on eBay. So just know that. So I will make sure that I link for, like put a link for the other um, shop with me from this store, the part one, and the live haul video. This lamp was super interesting. That was like, it was all plastic. I loved these salt and pepper shakers. And this booth had really cool cookie jars. And I love how they had everything like shrink wrapped. So the lids wouldn't come off or so, excuse me, so the pairs would stay together. I thought that was a really, a really neat idea. And yeah, that was really cool of them. Instead of doing tape, they probably got some kind of shrink wrap with like, you know, a heat tool and heated it up and everything stayed together. Now I was contemplating this bowl, but I want to say that I've had those before and they didn't sell. I mean, they did sell, but right around what they had them priced at, um, they sold in my Etsy shop. I think they ended up being marked down at one point or another. And I loved the Harry Potter sign. Look at those candlesticks. Oh my goodness. I was telling Bianca that I would have loved to have been able to open that. Sorry for the spinniness, but as you can see, there's things everywhere. So it was hard for me to focus, Alex. Focus one thing at a time. <laughs> now this right here is freaking awesome. Well, no, not this, but that is cool. But these up here, um, I thought were fantastic. They look similar to another one that I have, that I have my little crystal ball sitting on. Um, I just, I love that. So um, the next time, well, I always look for them. They're originally for like candles or something. Um, that's what I've seen. But I, I just usually find them without all their parts. Um, so I just, I'm like, okay, well, I'll just stick my little crystal sphere thingy on here. Or I have some antique fishing floats. Um, put it on there and bam, you got a crystal ball. Now I liked the shape of these guys and I was going to get them. I probably should have, but I was like, mm, eight fifty each. I wish it was eight fifty for the pair. And then I ended up putting them back. I was like, I think I spent at this store. It was like $176. <laughs> so 
I mean, I, mm, yeah, I'll link, like I said, I'll link the, um, the other one, that cookie jar thing, that jar is cool. Um, I'll link the other one, uh, because I thought I was buying a candle that was $3, but it was when I first walked in and I didn't realize it was booth number three. So that's a good deal on that Santa Claus right there. So I went ahead and got that, but it was booth number three and it was, it was really a $15 candle <laughs> and I, uh, no, it was a $16 candle and I ended up selling it for 15. So I was kind of at a loss for a dollar, but I guess when you divide everything out, the average cost of goods for this trip was about $8 and like 36 cents or something like that. So I made a little bit of money, but yeah, I was like, I was all over the place, just like in heaven looking at all the little things in here. So, you know, numbers kind of flew out the door. <laughs> I was really thinking about this cookie jar, but it was like $32.50 and this cookie jar, but I didn't, I didn't grab them. I didn't go for it. Um, like I said, I had already had like a cart full of stuff up front. Um, but I did, I really did like how she, this booth shrink wrapped all these. Um, I thought that was like, I'm like, is that the cookies all over cookie jar? But it's not, um, or like a version of it, but it's not, um, I did, I really did like how she did that. It kept everything together. Uh, it kept the sets together. I mean, I know I'm repeating myself, but I think Misty just had one of those little um, elephants. Sorry. Look at that. Look at the little buddy. Oh, wait, is that an elephant? I think I have one of those. Oh, there's so much stuff here, you guys. Look at all this stuff. I have to go back. There's a... Um, I just saw a swing frame. I didn't even check the price of that. Um, there's a antique store across the street as well that I would love to go to. I think my mom would love to look around this place. I mean, look at it. It's like a maze. There's things everywhere. Oh my gosh, everywhere. Sorry for the turning. Don't look. <laughs> really contemplating this little grasshopper here but I didn't end up getting him I thought you know I think he's cute but would someone really buy him I mean 
I don't know. Maybe if he's still there next time I go back. I don't know when I would go back. But he's one of those things that I thought about when I went home. That little grasshopper. And I love this little shelf. Love it. These were really cool. Those striped glasses. Yes. And there's my Gabriel. And what else do we have here? Hmm. I'll tell you though, still my favorite store to go to is where my antique booth was. Yep, and then the other one where um, the things are, the little dots are 75% off where you can find um, deals there. This pair was made in Japan. Um, terrier dogs, I think. You know I don't know my dogs, but those were like 15 bucks. I asked Aaron what he thought, and he didn't sound very sure, and I was like, mm, okay, maybe you're right, so I put them back. <laughs> so this next booth coming, that's going to be in the next shot, has this right here. All these beautiful, like, Art Nouveau um, jewelry caskets, and it's, they're especially gorgeous because they still, they, well, I don't think this one did, but they still had their inside lining. Oh, no, yeah, it did. Um, and a lot of times, for whatever reason, they're always ripped out. I don't know why people rip those out. Really cute little chalkware set here that I was trying to investigate the pricing on by bending down and looking underneath. Um, that's a, okay, that's, I think it's this way with a lot of people. That's a pet peeve of mine. Like when you go to the flea market um, and you have all these booths that don't have any price tags, and you like you try and pick it up to see okay maybe the price tag's on the bottom and it's not on the bottom and I'm just like I don't even want to bother asking or <laughs> you go and like you're at like a table and then he tells someone $200 for something and you're like bye and you're out of there just Speedy Gonzalez out this guy was so cool $80 if I collected it or bought it as a gift it'd be one thing but for resale I don't know. I should probably maybe. Maybe I should have looked them up. Oh, look. Look down there. Oh, I didn't notice that teapot. She was probably $52,000, but I didn't see her. Not while I was in the store. We have a Christmas tree skirt and a nativity and a really crazy looking palm thing right there. And I was contemplating sitting down, but no. <laughs> This booth was cool. It did have some um, interesting things in this booth. I loved the little brass things that were over there. And I especially loved that cat. That $79 mid-century cat. That was where it's at. Right there. Alright guys, so we're coming up to the end of the footage that I have for this antique store. We had a lot of fun in here. There were so many different things to look at. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and you hit that thumbs up button. If you, oh my gosh, those paperweights. If you would go down below and leave me a comment, um, even a heart or a thumbs up or anything like that, it really helps the channel out. I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget that on Sundays at one o'clock in the afternoon, Eastern time is when I do live vintage sales. And that is when I will have most of the items that you guys see in the shop with me's or in my haul videos up for sale. And um, you can also go ahead and Click the links to check eBay because you might find some items that are over there. Last but not least, don't forget to go follow us over on Instagram because you guys get to see sneak peeks in the life that is Alex at Chapter 2 Vintage. And uh, you guys can, um, you know, be part of the Chapter 2 Vintage Co. family. All right. Thank you so, so much. Enjoy the rest of the footage, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye. Bye.